But and you want to hear something crazy, bro? The people don't know this. What? I didn't even take a visit to Washington State. I Damn. didn't. I didn't. I didn't, bro. I, you it just was trusting just, what he was saying. I, I wouldn't say I was. It was just the offense. It's called movers and blockers. Uh-huh. On film, it looked it looked amazing, bro. Yeah, it looked amazing. And, and don't get it messed up. We went to the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, I mean back then I'm going against the follow. Yeah, I'm going against uh 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 Hassan Adams. Yeah, I'm going against Budinger at the time oh, before yeah, he started yeah. playing volleyball. He had a yeah. 45 inch vertical. Yeah, he's, he's the Pac-10 freak. back then was the NBA. Yeah, so it I want nice. kids to know like. All right, I'll get a good one. My freshman year, I went, I rode the bench, mm-hmm. but my coach would mentally mess with me, Tony. Mm-hmm. How do I ride the bench? But I start against Brandon Roy. I played the whole game <laughs> against Brandon Roy. I'm getting cooked. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I scored 14. It's yeah, Brandon yeah, Roy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and I'm not trying to uh, ward this down, bro. The kids got to know Brandon. To me, Brandon everything Roy Brandon. He, he was like Kobe, bro. He was Brandon insane. Roy. Okay, I, I want you to know this. He like, was insane. So, so what we had to do was I had a teammate named Ivory Clock. I said, I know Tony. They're they're putting me in pick and roll situations, right? That it, I think his name was Bobby John. I forgot the other guy from Washington, mm. but they were putting me in pick and roll situations every time I had to get to Brandon Roy because they knew I was the weak link to guard Brandon Roy. Mm. So I had to tell my teammate Ivory Clock, listen, every time they put me in that pick and roll. Sprint and get to him and let me get out of here. You get what I'm saying? Because literally every time I would get on him, I would say. Three seconds, he, he would score that quick. Three that's, seconds. And that's how hard the Pac-10 was back then, bro. Arizona back then. But people what, don't was, understand was, how good Brandon Roy is. They don't get it. Mustafa but, Shakur at Arizona. Cold. Six foot seven point guy. And I got to guard this guy full court. Cold, so, but tough. you're right, bro. Now I, I understand that. I love Washington State. Go Cougs. Yeah. Go Cougs. <laughs> but uh, I shouldn't have went so far. Yeah, that's, hey, listen, that's a hike. What was your welcome college moment? I would say my welcome college moment was when we played Gonzaga. So, uh, you know, like you, like you probably, yours probably Duke when you mm-hmm. went to, to, to play inside camera. Yeah, that was crazy. So we went to go play Gonzaga. Remember, I'm from D.C., bro. I ain't scared. Mm-hmm. And basically people don't know about me. Like, I ain't scared of nothing, bro. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, if a lion ran in here, there's nothing we could do. Yeah. I'm going to fight the lion. We, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to fight the lion. We might die, but we're going to fight that lion. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we went to Gonzaga. Every, all the alumni, listen, that, that place will have you in shock. Rocket. Just make sure you relax. Mm-hmm. Now, Man, relax, man. I, like, like, yeah, we good. Bro, we get a lot of you not. We went against uh, Adam Morrison. Mm-hmm. A lot of y'all not. When the when the when the crowd started Boy. bouncing, the arena was shaking. I believe it. So I'm like, I'm in shock. Yeah. Coach Tony puts me in the game, bro. I'm literally like this. But you can't look scared because you know the co- the coach will snatch yeah, you out. Take you right out, bro. The shot that I took, bro. I lie you not. If the rim was over here, I might have shot it over there. <laughs> that, that's how nervous I was. But that was my breaking moment that it was like, all right, this this, this the big real. leagues. This yeah. the big leagues. The next year, when Gonzaga came to uh, Washington State, I rode the bench. The day before, what Coach Tony say to me? You probably just, I remember what? last year. No, you're going to start. So I'm like, damn, I get to start against Gonzaga. Oh, and guess what? Back in them days, which now, yeah, three days before the game started back then, the kids are already doing what outside at the gym? Oh, the tailgate. They tailgate in campus. So yeah. like, I'm about to start. Yeah. So I'm taking people. Uh, he used to make us give people donuts, coffee, and stuff like that. We go to practice. You know who Kyle Weaver is? You, you remember Kyle him? Kyle Weaver. That name's uh, He played for OKC. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yes, remember, yes, you remember yeah. Aaron Baines for the Spurs? Yeah. He was yeah. on my team. Yes. I go to shoot. Kyle Weaver accidentally closes out. I fracture my ankle. So I don't get to play against Gonzaga. That night I'm crying. Kyle, like, man, don't worry about it. Gonzaga comes into Washington State. We beat the sh- bro. When I say <laughs> dog them, and I, but I was hurt though. Yeah. Because I didn't get to contribute at all. But that's when my wisdom started kicking in. In practice, I was able to be the shooter for Gonzaga on the mm-hmm. scout team mm-hmm. to Coach Tony. So I started realizing it's not always about me. Mm-hmm. And once I took that turn at Washington State, yep. I started realizing this is what college is all about. It's yep. not always about you. It's about the team. For sure. You know what I mean? But when everybody ran on that court, that was the, that was the second biggest moment to me. That was awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's crazy.